effectively appalling organisation, and next week they have a presidential election. The most powerful man in world football, Seb Blatter, has said he will stand for a fifth term as president of FIFA. Now, if you don't know who Seb Blatter is, think of Roger Goodell. And now, think of Roger Goodell's arsehole. <laughs> that is Seb Blatter. Because this is a man who in the past has suggested increasing the popularity of women's soccer by having them wear tighter shorts, <laughs> overseen an organisation that's been plagued by numerous scandals, and also did this. The winner to organise the 2022 FIFA World Cup is Qatar. Yes, on Sepp Blatter's watch, the World Cup was given to Qatar, where temperatures can reach 120 degrees. <laughs> the only place less appropriate to host a World Cup would be the actual surface of the sun. <laughs> Although, to be fair, the sun does have a much better human rights record than Qatar does. <laughs> and, and yet, Despite all of this, the crazy thing is, Sepp Blatter is widely expected to win re-election, even though a hairless bear would do less damage <laughs> as president. A hairless bear who, incidentally, looks a great deal like Sepp Blatter. That's uncanny resemblance. In fact, Blatter is so confident of victory, he has refused to debate or campaign for re-election. And this is how he responded when asked. My manifesto is the work I have done in the last years in FIFA. I am now 40 years in FIFA, and I am 17 years the president of FIFA. This is my manifesto. Listen, Sepp Blatter saying I stand by my work is like a puppy standing by the work it did after being left alone in the house for the first time. <laughs> hey, you've seen what I can do. I stand by it. This is my manifesto. And finally...